Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, Good evening. Hey, how are you? Fine, and you? Fine. Fine, thank you? God. Just glad to see you. Glad to see you too. All right, thank you. Well, let's give some minutes to the others so that they can log in. We're still right on time, which is just so great. Well, today is Thursday already. Thursday, September 8th, right? Yep, another week gone. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Almost Still there. tomorrow. Yes, true. True, true, true. All right. How was your day? Let's see. Busy, busy. Too much. <laughs> Too much work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Usually gets really, really busy everywhere. Yeah. yeah. My job as well. It's pretty busy, you know. Similar to Tuesday. It's Tuesday and Thursday. I think it's the worst. <laughs> Why? I just have so many things, you know, like it's because the schedule gets heavier mm -hmm. on those days. Yeah. We have like many more classes, many more meetings. So it gets really busy at work. Hey, Adriana. Hey. How's it going? And what about the rain and the traffic today? <laughs> no, not too much. Normal. Normal. Nice. Thank God you didn't get affected. Yes, because I heard on the news that it was terrible for some for some people in some places. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, few people probably because of the traffic too. Yeah, Carlos, no problems with the traffic today? Good evening. Hi, good evening. Today, no problem. What's normal? Nice. Normal. So you stayed in uh, San Salvador today? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I live in Zaragoza. Mm -hmm. But you didn't go to any other place? You didn't go to San Miguel today? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Today is, is I'm staying in Soyapango. All right, nice. all day, all day. And uh, then, teacher, <clears throat> yes. Uh, 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 I have a problem. Tell me. Uh, the second task. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't. You didn't uh, finish. I reconnoitre. Reconocer, no reconoce. Doesn't recognize or doesn't accept. Nice. Uh, mm, the answer. Really? Uh, yes. Only number one and two. Mm, the number, okay, which is the, the, the task that has problems? The number two or number three? The three, three, four, five. Really? Yes, uh, these uh, seems aparecen seems mm -hmm. seems uh, incomplete. incomplete. Everybody I has the know. same problem, or only Carlos? What? No, I'm asking the rest. If everybody has the same problem, or only you have uh -huh. the problem? Did anybody else complete the other task after number two? Not yet. All right. So. Do me a favor, when you are completing that, right? Uh, okay, take a screenshot and send it in the group in WhatsApp. We're going, we're going to report the, the technical problem with the experts and they are going to fix it. Yes? Your microphone. <laughs> uh, in the past, ya ha habido. There have been. There have been. There have been the problem. The same problem. Uh, the plat, uh, in the, your case. Uh, my case. Everybody. Case. Okay, everybody. 
everybody. Mm, okay, so please take the screenshot and send it in the group, in the WhatsApp group. I'm going to okay. report the, the problem, but I need the evidence. And you can send the message. So this is our, the exercise that doesn't accept the, the answer. You can say the, the, the description of the problem in Spanish, no problem. So we're going to record okay, the, the, the technician to fix the problem in the platform. All right? Yes. And anybody who has any problem with the, with the platform, okay? So you just report it. Report it on the, on the group, on the WhatsApp group. All right? All right, good evening, good evening. I see that, wow, now we have more participants. We already have Hector, Isabel, Lucy, Irma, Jacqueline, and Elsie. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening, good evening. How was your day? Tell us something about your day. Volunteers. Democracy. <laughs> Busy, 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 all day, <clears throat> all day, all day. All right, <laughs> but you yeah. are at home already. Sorry, are you at home? Yeah, no, uh, just uh, one uh, half hour. Oh, you just arrived it's very fast. Yes. Um, it's, you just Hi. arrived. Hi. Yes, it's it's kind of late for arriving home. Um, yes. Really, really hard. Heavy. <laughs> heavy. Really heavy. But yes. I, uh huh. Because of the rain, and it rained a lot. Yes. A lot all lot, the afternoon. Lot. And the uh, ¿cómo se dice inundar? Uh, Floods. No. Yes, the road, the street were flooded. They're floated. Mm -hmm. tra crash, trash. Car crash. Trash. Uh, no, no. Uh, oh, because of the garbage. Uh, plastic garbage. Uh -huh, yes, garbage. and the sandwiches. True. <laughs> uh, it's an eternal problem, mister. From the FIAS institution. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Environmentalist. I'm not I know. Mr. I'm guy. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Mr. Morales, an environmentalist, eco-friendly. No. <laughs> no, it's okay. You know, in English, you can say Mr. Even if it is just a child. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, you say Mr. or Sir with more respect for people that sure. you can see that, yes, in a higher position. Sure. Yeah. For, for, for women, it's good to say mom. Mm, it depends oh. the confidence mm. it depends yes uh, sometimes they say uh, if it is um a close relationship you can even say sis or sister oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. usually they say uh, ma'am that is Mom. with a lot of respect ma'am or miss missus mm -hmm. depending miss. of the oh. status uh-huh the social status <laughs> if somebody's single married or don't want to say oh, yes okay. uh -huh. all right Mayra good evening your microphone Hello, yes teacher. hi you? I'm fine what about you um good Good. Good. All right. How did you feel all day? With energy, low battery, and low, low, low battery. Because um, <laughs> it's Thursday. Work and too much. Much work. Too How much work. It? Yes, uh, I had work. too much work. True, and and because you know, it's like the week is going down, right? So we almost finished the week. True, true, true. All right. So more people got connected already. Irma, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. How's it going? What about your day? Very well. 
Very well. Thank God. <laughs> At home already? Nice. At home. Yes, it's good to see that you are safe and sound at home because uh, when it gets late and sometimes you are pretty busy, you're pretty tired and you're still at the office or driving home, it is more dangerous sometimes because you're trying to be listeners, you're trying to concentrate, but it's pretty hard, pretty, pretty hard. So I'm glad you're safe and sound. Well, I don't know if anybody else wants to say good evening. Ileana, Freeman, Elsie, Jacqueline, Lucy. Isabel, too. Oh, well, they don't want to say anything. Oh, no, there is Freeman. Where did you go? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I am out outdoors in my house. Uh, it's but, raining. Uh, uh -huh. oh, it's so. <laughs> It is raining. Yeah. It's still. Yeah. It is still raining. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Probably you will have to get the volume really high so you can listen to the class. OK? okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Good evening. All right, Elsie. If you listen to that dog crying, it's not mine. OK? It's my neighbors. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm fine. All Thank right. you, and you? I'm fine too. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking. I'm happy to see you again. All right. Daniel, I see Daniel. Yes. All right. Daniel on the camera now. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? Fine. Nice. Ready? Are you ready? Ready. ready. All right. Ready. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Let's get the attendance then. Okay. I see most of you got connected already, so we can get the attendance. All right. Let me just look for the correct day, which is. Thursday, 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 September 8th. All right. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present teacher. Christina. Not here, right? Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present teacher. Berman. Present teacher. Hazel. Hector. Present. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm not finding the microphone. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, Ileana. Present teacher. Hello. Irma. Present. Hello. Erwin. Not yet. Isabel. Present. Hi. Lucy. Present. All right, Martha. Oh, well, Martha is not here, apparently. Okay, Mayra. Present. Hi. Sam. Present. Wendy. And Jacqueline. Present. Hey, how are you? Hi, fine. All right. Happy to hear that. Glad to hear that. All right. So let's get started. Let's focus on the important task of today. Well, everything is important, but yes. All right. So we get to the, okay, the reminders. And the reminders for the video call, for the video conference. All right, this is our class number four. And at the end of this class, this is the objective to get to accomplish, right? At the end of the session, participants will be able to ask and answer questions providing a specific information related to work experience, right? So this is the objective. So at the end, 
when we finish this session, everybody should be able to ask questions or answer questions, providing a specific information related to work experience. Sometimes we say, okay, yes, I just need to answer. No, but it's also good to ask because we never know. We might work for a department in which we have to interview people so we will be able to ask the questions as well, right? So it is important. We never know. We might get a job at a human resources department. It would be so great. All right. <laughs> so job interviews. Yesterday we were working, I mean, yes, we were working on different exercises. We were practicing and we were talking. We were telling our partners about our job experience, the different jobs that we have worked for and all this information that we recall, right? So it is great that you have like this information organized you know like in your mind like you organize the ideas in case you apply for a job and the job interview is done in english you will be able to answer as well right so right now it is kind of common that you have job interviews in english too so it would be great that you have already practiced and that you already know how to answer how to talk about your job experiences, right? Okay, let me just skip this. I just don't want to show you the answers, but <laughs> that was an exercise. All right, so let me just a minute. In the meantime, we're going to listen to, uh, all right, let's say a volunteer. Oh, no, right on the chat, whatever you remember from the class yesterday, whatever expression, phrase, sentence, or oh, whatever exercise that you remember, right on the chat. I just need. Sorry, one second, I'm just connecting the computer. Okay, I need to see your messages on the chat. Nothing yet. What happened? You don't remember about the class yesterday? I can believe it. Please write something. Check the manual, check your notes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> okay, I will be a great asset. Yeah, we try to scramble sentences. Okay, period of time. That's right. Which are the period of time? Uh huh. The time expressions that we use for period of time. Exactly. Since a point in the past, all right? This dog is really crazy, you know. The video is going to be with that background noise. Hmm. So lame. All right. So we got how long? Yes, how long for the period of time question? How long have you worked in that company? All right. What else? What else? All right, so no more comments. Let's see how long the words for seems long. Yes, that's right. Would be and could be. We'll refresh that from the previous lesson as well. 
I remember questions as how long have you worked in the company? We talked about different positions. Exactly. And what benefits you would bring to a company. We mainly discussed about FIAES and SAPROSA and which was the other one? Do you remember? Oh, Merlet. <laughs> True. I just see Adriana and I say, oh, yeah, Merlet. <laughs> oh, Merlet. <laughs> okay. Wendy, be careful. My God. I see Wendy is riding her bike. She's so adventurous. Be careful. My goodness. I'm scared. <laughs> All right. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Okay, let's see. I'm going to share. Not that PowerPoint, but this. Okay, yes. This was the conversation that included the expressions of time or the time expressions, right? To talk about work experience and to talk about period of time, right? How long have you worked in the company? And if you have occupied different job positions, right? Or different work positions, right? It says, listen to your teacher and read the conversation, then practice with a partner. And then there was this person, Julio and Anna, talking about their working experiences, right? He says, tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years, four or five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 or 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was over for a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for a month until my credit was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> okay. Hmm. This is something curious. When you work in another country, for example, in Panama, you need a working visa, right? And the working visa expires in six months, not in a month. I understand. So probably she had a special permission or special permit from the company to stay working for a month because it was a project, I believe. Because I know somebody who went to work in Panama and, it, and he was permitted to stay only for six months because of the working visa. That's something interesting, all right? And have you worked? Or yes, and have you not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. So they have not been a stable job anymore. All right. And then you had some questions related to this conversation, right? So Anna worked in Unilever for five years. She worked there from 2011 to 2016, right? And then she quit because she was offered a job in Panama. Then she was in Panama for a short period of time. She was there for a month, right? Then she came back to El Salvador. So when did Anna start working in Unilever? Hmm. You have this one, two, three, four questions. Okay. We are going to discuss these questions with our partner, okay, about the previous conversation. Are we ready? Yes, of course. All right. So let's see. We get some groups of work and let's go. In 2016. Okay. Why did she quiet her job in Unilever? Otra vez, again. 
Ana start well, to work at Unilever in 2011. Next question. When did she stop working there? Hey, hello, hello. Estoy solita. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Asking the questions with my partner. I'm going to put you in another room. Don't worry. Okay. Vamos a ver dónde la movemos. Alon. Hola, Alon. Uy, Fermán, creo que también se había quedado Alon. <laughs> Ahorita la mando al number four. Okay. Wait a minute. in a short period of time. And the last one, have you ever done independent jobs? Mm, independent jobs and not really. Igual siempre bien lejos, es que no sé, de repente la oí bien suave. Ajá. Hoy sí ya la oigo Ay, bien. No. Yeah, por ratitos. Sí, es que creo que me está. El otro sería la película second. What did he quit her job in the middle? ¿Quién? ¿Quién, verdad? Why? Mm -hmm. Why? No, vaya. ¿Cuál Why está haciendo? Why she keep the number two? ¿Por qué ella? Porque ella decidió, como decir, Please no decidió. Be... No. Because she was offering. A new job in Panama. Así podría. Mm -hmm. Porque tiene que ser en pasado, me imagino. She started at eh, 2011 and stopped work at 2016. Eso es lo que yo pienso. No. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Sí, que sí. Yes. Bueno, no sé si voy a volver a repetir que no, no lo no lo no, no le escuché bien. Se me Ana started, 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 no sé, at uh, 2011 and stopped the work at 2016. Ok. 2011, 2016. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok. Me imagino que hay que ocupar. Y ahora, ¿por qué? Ahora, ¿cuándo empezó ella? Ah, la otra. ¿Cuándo paró ella o algo así, verdad? Ajá, ajá. Pero no sé si deberíamos de usar las palabras que... Eh, sin... Ah, sí, porque sea, por ejemplo, podemos poner eh, to, eh, to, eh, 2011 until 20, 2016. Ajá. Since, I'm started since... Eh, para el app, no vea. Since... Until. Que si uh, completó su trabajo independiente. Sería la dos entonces por un proyecto. Ah, por un nuevo trabajo en Panamá, ¿eh? ¿verdad? Pues ofre.
We finished, teacher. All right, thank you. Thank you, too. All right, let's see. So what did you answer for the number one? Well, in the number one, we have two questions. When did Anna start working in 11? And when did, you, did she stop working? So the first answer would be, she started working in 11. Mm -hmm. In 2011, right? Is that right? Yes. All yes. Right. All right. And when did she stop working there? 2016. 2016. Okay, so she stopped working there in 2016 right so she worked there for five years yes yes that's right and why did she quit her job in 11 she was a new job in panama okay so we can say she quit her job there because she was offered a new job in Panama. All right, so we can say like, if you give, you know, like long answers, let's say, okay, we'll put it like this. Okay, so she quit her job there because she was offered a new job in Panama. Okay, have you ever done independence job? Okay, this is something personal. Of course, you are all gonna have different answers, right? What could be something independent? So when you start running your own business, when you start working independently, you start having some, you know, probably initiatives, entrepreneurs, initiatives so you don't work for a specific company so you work for yourself right so that would be something independent so this answer definitely is very personal so we're not gonna have like any of your cases here that's all right okay so this was as the review of the classroom yesterday okay no questions no done all right so we are done. Okay, so this is the review of the, the use of for for a period of time since a specific point in the past. Okay, so for is a period for five years, for 10 years, for seven years. So I said, I work in Diana for seven years. You since plus a specific points in the past have worked there since 2005. Use from to stay the start and end of time. I stay there from January to November. So we usually say from to, from Monday to Friday, right? Okay, from January to May. We use then to introduce a new event in Assyria. I worked in that company until 2011. Then I quit to introduce a new event, right? And we use until to mark the end of an activity or period of time. And it says, I worked in Panama until my project was done, right? Or was over, was finished. 
so until to mark the end of an activity all right any question no it's easy easy to get the idea at least no <laughs> all right so this is what you're gonna do i'm gonna make a parenthesis a short parenthesis in spanish lo que yo acabo de leer lo van a volver a leer obviously no solo porque hay que volver a leer sino para practicar cómo se da la explicación de estas palabras right and of course to support each other para poder escuchar y apoyar a los compañeros en su entonación, en su pronunciación y so on, and so on, right? Cuando su compañero lo haya terminado de leer y usted le haya podido escuchar y apoyar, si era necesario, es el turno de leerlo usted y que su compañero le apoye. Yes? So, you are going to work in pairs. And one person is reading, the other is listening. Yes? Then you switch, then the other person is reading and you are listening. Okay? Then, when you finish reading these explanations, you're going to be completing this exercise. Okay, what words are you going to use? Read about Nicole's work experience and fill in the blanks using for, since, from, to, and long. So you're going to be using this words for, for a period of time. Yes, for five years, for 10 years, for two years, for a month, for two days, for a week. Okay, since, from a specific point in the past. Yes. How many oh how many years have you worked in the company or how long have you and you say since 2020. So that is for two years, right? Or since uh, 2019. All right. So then you use from the space from 2021 to 2022 from 2015 or from last year to this month all right or whatever the period of time is or long so these are the words that you're going to be using okay they say this ones i don't know if you're going to be using then or until so they say just four scenes from two and long that you are going to complete this paragraph. If you don't have this information because you don't have the manual yet, I can still share the screenshots, okay? That's not a problem. I'm going to share both the screenshots, okay? So that you can have this information and that you can practice reading this information so that you can remember the information better. And then I'm going to share the screenshot of this uh article or this uh description of nicole's work experience is that right yes yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sure. all right perfect so we're gonna get a different group so that you work with somebody else let's just recreate if you are alone please let me know because i See, some people are just listening so they cannot uh, start working. And then that's why you feel that you are abandoned in a room. Okay, let's go. No le tomo eh, en la en la en el 
chat está la imagen. Entonces lo vamos a leer. Sí. Lo vamos a leer. Vamos a verificar que pronunciemos bien. Ok. Espérame, es el primer paso. Sí. Son dos párrafos, en el WhatsApp ¿verdad? está. Sí, en el WhatsApp para que sea más fácil. Pero son dos párrafos. Sí, pero son sí. dos párrafos. Sure. No solo es para leerlo, porque esas son las reglas. Okay. Yes. Ajá. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Eh, entonces, sí. Es, entonces, estas son las reglas. Uh -huh. Hay que leerlas. Okay. Uno, 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 digamos, y este, escuchar la pronunciación de cada uno y apoyar al que. Apoyarnos si, si la pronunciación no está bien. Correcto, correcto. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Bueno, yeah, yeah. primero la dama. ¿Quién se apunta primero? Me apunto <risa> yo. <risa> Qué caballero. <risa> Vas, ok. Eh, el siguiente también, creo. Hola. El siguiente también. Ese hay que responder. No. Ok. Entonces voy yo. Okay. Yo lo voy a decir ahora. The start and end. The start and end of time. I stay there from January to November. Use then. To introduce a new event in a series, I worked in that company until uh, 2011. Then I quit. Use until for mark the end uh, of an activity, activity a period of time. I worked in Panama until my period was over. Okay. No, yo lo voy, a, lo voy a leer yo. Ok. Voy a ver. Bien, dice, use, use for plus period of time. I work in Diana for seven, yo no sé si es Diana o Diana, no. for seven sí. years. Yo creo que es por, por ser nombre propio es Diana. Sí, va, Diana. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly the same. Ok. Ok. Use things plus specific points in the past. I have worked there since uh, 2000. Centenas, hundred. Miles, thousand. Y ahí le, solo le terminamos de agregar el, el, el año. Okay. Perfecto. Lo volvemos a hacer y voy otra vez. Uh -huh. Use for a period of time. For example, I work in Diana for seven years. Use signs, a specific point in. Stay the start and, and end of time. I stay there from January to November. Use then to introduce a new event in a series. I work in that company until 2011. Then I quit. Using it to mark uh, the end of the inactivity period of time, I worked in Panama until my project was over. What's the use of time expression? Use, use it for more period of time. I worked in Diana for seven years. Use sense as a specific point in the past. I had worked the there is cents and 25. Use it from to state to state the start and end of time. State there is from January to November. Use it then to introduce a new event in I think it's done. That's the the way she has not worked there um, no 
from Derbera. They're from 2005 to 2011. Y aquí está el de arriba, el que usted decida. Eh, eh, she working in Morsa. Y ahí dice, en donde dice, she work in malls. Science. 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 Molsa. ¿Cómo se pronuncia science teacher? Since. 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 Yes, since. Entonces sería sin después de Molsa. Seven years. Since. Was a she? Yes. She Seven. wanted to be manager. Yes. Yes. She was a chill. Chill. Ay, es que es un, como una oración, ¿verdad? Um. ¿Por dónde va usted ahorita? Vaya, sí, digamos. ahí después de Science, science Seven Years. Ok. Entonces, Entonces aquí... Dice, manager, tendríamos que poner... Ajá. Es que aquí dice como que... Pero si usted se fija donde dice manager, es en la... Ah, no. Project was... Es que dice que oh, fue por jefe por casi uh -huh. este, 15 años. Quit. No, quit, no. No, quit es... No está en su... Eh, ah, for, for almost... Por alrededor de 15, 15 años. años. Ajá, por... Por eso. Tiene que estar en el año. Ah, for period almost. of time, ajá, uh -huh. for, for, for almost. Almost, ajá, uh -huh. 15 years retired. Yes, retired. His name, name was Gonzalo. Gonzalo. And he worked Work there. there. Eh, ese sería... The past uh, is things. 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 Or from. No, 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 from. No, no, from and no. Things. Sí, dice que y trabajó ahí desde más sin sí sí está bien ahora dice today he is a successful person he works from sería ajá from from Monday to Saturday from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job and she loves her job. She has no worker there. Her. Ella no, she has not has not, her. She yeah. has not worked there. <laughs> but he can support her. She has not worked there. But he can support her. Y ahí. Ayuca. Y a la última. Has mm -hmm. not worked. Ella no, no trabajó ahí. Ella no trabajó ahí. ¿Pero dónde? Eh, de lo que dice el párrafo anterior. Employee is a successful person to work for a long day. She does not work there. Pero no tiene sentido. Él no trabajó ahí, dice, pero... ¿Por qué si le pones ahí? 
también podría armar sus extinguidores. En donde dicen that and he worked there, ahí sí sería, creo que sign. Pero en almost sí. no lo encuentro. Uh -huh. From... Sí, porque no. dice que porque está especificando. Uh -huh. No será por almost 15 years. The way much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager. For some years, yeah, it's a city of four. Four, uh huh. Uh huh, for almost 15 years. Okay. The work Hey. Hi, teacher. Did you finish? No. Me sacó <laughs> del grupo. Really? Sí, ¿Y cuál estoy... estaba? Estaba con Elsie. Y oh. con, eh, creo que era el grupo 2, si no me equivoco. Uh oh. <laughs> We're going to see the answers, don't worry. Because now everybody's coming back. No, lo que pasa es que está lloviendo demasiado fuerte por acá. Y... Really? Sí, tengo problemas con el internet. Oh. Yes, I don't know why the rain affects so much the connection, right? Yeah. I hate it. Last class, I think it was on, on Tuesday. Oh my God, the rain caused my internet to get really, really slow. Very, very slow. All right, everybody finished, everybody happy? <laughs> you couldn't say the last word. I see you were struggling. You were having issues with the last word. All right, see. I bet we are going to project this one, yes. All right. We're going to put this on the side and we are going to write the words. All right, Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from Uca University. She studied there. Uh -huh. From? 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 Two, 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 2011. Mm -hmm. Then, 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 then she worked in Molsa. She worked in Molsa for, for years. Seven, for seven years. For seven years. Yes. For seven years. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Since, yes. ever since, all right. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager for a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager, 
for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he works there. Since. 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 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from, 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 Monday. from, from Monday to Saturday. To Saturday. <sighs> and she loves her job. She has not worked long. <laughs> Maybe long. <laughs> that was the problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think the oh, word okay. was not here. Uh huh. Yes. She has not worked there. They suggest to use the word before. It's still a preposition of time, but her team supports it, but it's not in the instruction. Yes, I have to admit that. Okay. So it, is, it didn't say here before. So that's why probably you were like not certain of what word to use, right? But it makes sense if you say she has not worked there before, but her team supports her. So she didn't have experience in that company before. Okay. So that's how the exercise would end. Any question? No. No questions? about Nicole's experience, about the expressions of time. It's all right? Okay. All right, okay. All right, let's see. What else do we suggest? All right. Okay, we continue with the unit one, and this is job listing. All right, before we do anything else, we have to have the attendance the second time, just to confirm the people that just added to the class. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present. Herman. Present teacher. Hazel. Present teacher. Thank you, Hector. Present. Ileana. Irvin. Do we have Irvin? No, right. Well, I see Ileana, but I don't see Irvin. Okay. Isabel. Lucy. Marta. Present teacher. Hi. Mara. Present. All right, Lucy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Samuel. Present. Wendy. Wendy, did you I arrive? I am here, teacher. <laughs> Ay, que no me agarraba. <laughs> <laughs> ya logro llegar. <laughs> ya no va en la carretera, in danger. Okay. Ya yeah, en... Yeah, in casa. Safe and sound at home. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. No, no, teacher. Really, Irma. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Irma, Irma. Oh yes, thank you, Irma. Yes, I was mentioning Irvin, but Irvin is not here. I don't know what happened to Irvin. That's so sad. It's not in class. All right. Okay, let's continue. Let's keep going. So, as part of the development, we already have this exercise we completed. This is the agenda. Okay, the key vocabulary for this lesson, namely the lesson number four, is to ask and answer questions for a job application. So, this is the information or the vocabulary that it's required to know through this lesson okay application for employment data name position apply for address form well, you know usually personal information right okay we're gonna have this short conversation again working pairs and take turn asking and answering the questions so okay let me just 
go ahead and get the questions. Okay, have you applied for a job position recently? That's one question. And what specific information about your work experience can you provide? So these two questions would be for a short discussion, okay? Have you applied for a job position recently? Es recientemente. ¿Ha aplicado usted a una plaza? ¿Alguna job position? Y si no, pues, be creative. Tenemos que usar un poquito la, la creatividad a la hora de contestar. Maybe we say, no, I haven't applied for a job recently, but I applied for a job position last year or two years ago. And it was this position at this company. Dar un poquito de información de qué trataba la, la job position o por qué usted quería aplicar o por qué aplicó. Yes, yeah, so you, you just give a little bit of the information, background, okay? And then, what specific information about your work experience can you provide? In caso de que usted tuviese que aplicar a una job position, ¿qué work experience incluiría en su CV? Yes, you would say, I would include this and this and this and this information about my work experience. I would say that I have worked in this company since 2011 or since 2015 or that I have worked in this company in this job position for seven years, for 12 years, okay? ¿Sí se entienden las two questions? ¿O hay alguna duda? De lo que vamos a compartir. Is it clear? It's clear. All right, perfect. So I'm going to share the screenshot, but we're going to discuss, okay, it's not like, okay, we're discussing and arguing, it's that we are getting creative, providing information, okay, trying to get and organize your ideas as much as possible, okay, probably would say, oh, no, that's so difficult, that is so hard, no, but try, 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 try to organize your ideas, okay, so I'm going to make you work in a different group. Probably we're gonna make a bit a bigger group, right? So probably will be three, 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 three people in each of the groups. Right, here we go. Vamos a ver. Eh, la primera pregunta es, eh, hemos solicitado un puesto de trabajo recientemente. Sí. Si quiere, inicio yo unas ideas que tengo por ahí, pero <ríe> veamos. Okay. I am interested in the position of head of human resource. I have experience in recruitment, recruitment and selection, training of mm, negocios, como se dice, se me ha escapado la palabra. Business. Business. Of business, um, play role. Experience and you provide. Apply for a job position, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh, first ladies <laughs> <laughs> and you the three uh, I no appreciate new position okay this is well the profe de que no sería eso este entonces Yes, um, uh, from what did he say? Nineteen, nineteen. Uh huh. Uh, Twenty nineteen, sorry. Uh, you have to do a. Uh, 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 you have to change your work. Just try to to go to the interview, try to do the test. 
because your set of mind changed in this in this case are are, are ready to uh, for a change what happened we don't want to happen you don't <laughs> have your work you're gonna start to to do your cv you're gonna start to touch doors and to do a test and to do interview Entonces sería, pues en este caso, for a company that is dedicated to gas station. Algo así. Sí, sí. Ok. Mm. Bueno, a eso, en, la, en esa empresa aplicado la plaza, quiero ver. Y la segunda pregunta era. Quiero ver. You say what specific information about your work experience can you provide? Mi experiencia laboral. Algo así. Información sobre. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Bye. Entonces, Tengo que hacer una oración. ¿Qué te piden que ver? Eh, una manta. Ok. Eso más o menos. Veamos. Usted la idea que tenía. Ok. I I position reserve it. Uh, maybe a safety engineer. Um, I have I a five years in the the room the group. I. I have three years in other company. Um, only. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yo he aplicado en la, en la plaza de cajera. Ah, Yo he aplicado de cajera. En la plaza. De cajera. Ah, en la realidad, en realidad. Ajá. Ah, ah ok. Ajá. Eh, Yo he aplicado. ¿Cómo la... se dice cajera? No, eh, no. Eh, the company is, is government. But the politics, uh, polit uh -huh. uh, politics, politician uh -huh. is is a, a private company. Uh -huh. is, 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 is how this electric sec uh, area is a little box, caja chica, a little box, uh, uh -huh. the government. Uh -huh. Really? Oh my yeah. goodness. Yes, it's, it's the same, the cell company. Uh, 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 all, all the sector, electric sector. Um, in, box. In, in, in Spanish, I say, híjole. <laughs> <laughs> sí, o sea, siempre agarran la de caja chica, el sector electric. Sí, sí, sí. 
Sí, me imagino. Híjole, pues sí, es necesario. Good, Nick. Eh, proyectos. Es, una, es como safety engineer. Ok. For, okay. for construction projects. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. mm, okay. Interesante. Y, y en el caso suyo es más como, usted dijo producción, pero no, no le comprendí muy bien, Jess, Mayra. Ah, es que yo, bueno, toda mi experiencia laboral ha sido producción, producción de en costura. Ah, ah maquila. Maquila, pero ya después estaba... Hello. Uh -huh. How did it go? ¿Cómo les fue? Super, super good. Super. <laughs> super easy, super exciting. Super fantastic. Super interesting. Super interesting, yeah. All right. Es la parte complicada de las entrevistas. <laughs> It depends, I think, <laughs> because you have to be really honest, but you have to give a good impression, <laughs> of course. Volunteers. Oh, no, saben que mejor yo voy a elegir. Democracy doesn't work sometimes. <laughs> uh -huh. Marta, tell me if you have applied to a job recently or what specific information about your work experience you would provide in a job application? Con quien trabajo, Marta? Hello, teacher. Hi. Tell me. Sorry. It's all right. Question two. Both. Have you applied to a job recently? Okay. Um, um, I, have, I have working in the accounting mm -hmm. area, uh, a, 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 for area. eight years. For eight years. Then I working in the audit area. Mm -hmm. And then in the truck and bus sales area. Mm -hmm. That would be your working experience, right? And have you applied for a job position recently? Or when was the last time that you applied for a job position? My experience. No, the first one, your job if you have applied, if you have applied for a new job. Uh -huh. uh, yes, I applied for the position of manager of the financial art mm -hmm. area, area. Mm -hmm. um, for a company that is dedicated to gas station. A station. Mm -hmm. yes. Could manage gas At, station? Actually. Okay, you just applied recently. What? You apply for that position as a manager? Recently. Recently. Manager. Recently means recientemente. Sí, yes. When? Last week, last month, two weeks ago. ¿Cuándo sucedió eso? When did you apply? Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Cómo le? Dígalo en español, no worries. La semana pasada. Last week. Last week. All right, good. Interesting. Let's see who's next. You have to be ready. <laughs> ya pensaron qué decir, ¿verdad? <laughs> you should. Ya deberían tener ahí las ideas porque la práctica era para eso. 
let's see, let's see, let's see. Veamos a quién le toca. La Fortune. Ah, Elsie. Sí, teacher. Tell okay. me. Cuéntenos. Okay. Tell me, tell me. Ok, estoy con la cámara apagada porque tengo fallas en el inter. No problem, but we listen to you. Vaya, en mi caso eh, es una hipotética idea porque no es, en, no es real. <risa> in your creativity imagination. All right, no problem. Ok, um, last month I think my recent person for an available position in the government. Offering my administration experience for seven years. <laughs> May your dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we all wish you the best, okay? <laughs> nice. Ajá, ya ven, no es necesario que tengan un caso real to express something in English. You can be really creative. Hmm, who doesn't want a job, a governmental position? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> well, let's see, who else, who else, who else? Somebody else? Hmm. It's hard to make a decision here. Oh, Wendy. Um, I am applying to the cashier place, play, places. Um, you are applying senior. right now for a cashier position. Position. Mm -hmm. Position. And what is the information that you provide about your work experience? Excuse me, no la escuché muy bien, se escuchó cortado. The second question. Mm. La segunda pregunta. Mm -hmm. Sería, why this information? Um, sería no sé cómo cómo explicarle <risa> cuéntanos cuál sería la, la, la experiencia laboral que usted contaría o, o expresaría o pondría en su resumen mm. sería Information or no working experience. Ahí estaría muy problemas. <laughs> If you are applying for a job position, okay. Mm -hmm. No, no, espere que Wendy nos organice sus ideas. So we get somebody else. Veamos. I know some people want to. <laughs> okay. But I'm a, I'm a bad teacher, I know. <laughs> I like to push students to participate. All right. Okay. Uh, one no problem. Let's see. Who else? It's better if I have the camera like this so that I can see everybody. Hmm. What about Maida?
I guess Mayra is explaining without the microphone. <laughs> And <laughs> just like, yes, having a big conversation, the microphone made it. Oh my God, she hasn't noticed. Hi. No, <laughs> I my glass application. Uh -huh. I skip my for my work experience in mm -hmm. a specific system mm -hmm. as um, GST mm -hmm. production production tarea como sería task production task quality esti quality uh, estimating time to make lead the breakdown and I had to. I had calculated some for all operations oh. with their respective method, and I should <laughs> do is a short time. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's, you it's have lots of experience, industrial engineering. Yes, sir. Oh my God, <laughs> that's lots of experience, I believe. <laughs> all right, thank you. That's great. Well. Because of the time, we're not going to listen to everybody. I wish I could listen to all of you, but it, it would be, I mean, too long. It would take us too long. So let's move on. All right. Here we have some vocabulary. <laughs> OK, give me one second. I think this can be. Yes, we have the numbers. Can you see the number one, number two, number three, number four, number five? Okay. Okay, then we have application. Application is a formal request to be considered for a position or be allowed to do or have something. All right, then we have a degree. A degree is an academic rank conferred by a college or university after examination or after completion of a course. All right, then we have BBA, which is a Bachelor of Business Administration. Okay, chronic medical condition is an illness persisting for long or constantly recurring. And we have, sorry, hold on. Oh, wait a sec. So we have the employment, which is the state of having paid work. Okay, number one, what do you think applies for the picture number one? Yes, Hector. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Uh, BBA is Bachelor of Business Administration. Yes. But Bachelor is. A well, licenciatura. Ah, no, but the bachillerato is high school. High school. Sí, los niveles de escolaridad están desde preschool, que es lo que nosotros conocemos como kinder, ¿verdad? pero es preescolares. Preschool, des, después está primary school, que es como la primaria, luego es high school, que es como la secundaria. Para nosotros es como dos o tres años nada más, que es el bachillerato, pero generalmente los otros sistemas, en la parte de tercer ciclo que nosotros conocemos, de séptimo a noveno grado, es considerado parte del high school, porque ya están grandecitos los niños. Y luego, que serían los grados académicos de university or college. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. So, number one, ¿qué sería? Picture number one. Degree, I think. Yeah. It could be a degree. Letter yeah. C. Letter C. A Bachelor of Business Administration? Could be. Yes. Okay. For the number two, what would be the definition? Mm. Little A. Letter A. Letter That's a. an application. application. When you apply for a job, you usually have, well, in the past, <laughs> probably now, is uh 
probably an electronic application, right? Mm -hmm. Usually you have a, a form where you get all the information on a digital version, on an online document. But in the past used to be a big piece of paper that you have to complete with information, right? So for number three would be? Degree, little me. Okay, number three, degree. What do you see on the picture three? A lot of people. E. <laughs> uh -huh. It would be. E. E. Yes, because a lot of people with different jobs. jobs, right? So they are employed, they are in employment. So, parte de la fuerza laboral, right? So that is employment. And number five, Little D, <laughs> chronic medical condition. We all know this <laughs> after the 40s. Thank you. <laughs> I am 40 already. <laughs> I am talking because I'm of appreciate me. you too. Thank you. <laughs> I think we all know about this. Probably there are some children in this class that don't know, but the rest already know. Teacher. Yes. How do you say con dedicatoria? <laughs> no, I didn't mean. It's because, you know, this is unavoidable. It's algo que no podemos evitar. And number four would be a degree, an academic rank, right? Or conferred by a college university after examination, after completion of a course. So we usually see this in a happy moment, <laughs> in a graduation, right? So... That's basically the vocabulary, okay? And then, of course, we're gonna have this conversation, okay? It says, fill in a job application form. What is your social security number? We usually practice the numbers, okay? When we give numbers of documents or IDs, it's normal, it's okay to give the numbers one by one. So in this case, hold on. I sometimes need a pointer or right here. So in this case, it's okay to say the numbers one by one. There's not a problem. So if they ask you in the job interview, what is your social security number? You can say it's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. How, when, when, when you have a, a, a zero, uh -huh. In middle, in middle of a lot of number, uh -huh. um, do you say O or do you say zero? Both ways are acceptable, but it's more common to hear that Americans say O. O. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. When were you born? I was born on July first. Okay. This question. Pay attention. When were you born? 2005 weeks. <laughs> it's cuando nació, okay? So in this case, I was born on July 1st. Solo está dando como la fecha, no está diciendo el año. It's okay. But 2005 we in 1976. The most appropriate es que digamos la fecha y el año, okay? So, no podemos esconder esta realidad también, ¿no? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. Es la lección, ¿ok? Yo no la creo. So, <laughs> when did you... Ok, where did you work? I worked in Molsa. Obviously, aquí no todos tenemos que decir Molsa. I worked, mencionamos X company. Ok, what did you do there? ¿Qué hizo ahí o a qué se dedicaba o cuál era su job position? Right. <laughs> Alguien se le está extendiendo el micrófono. All right, accidentally. So, I was the evening manager. Okay. It sounds interesting. I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From... 2005 to 2011, 
Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. So that is the bachelor. Okay, degree in business. So do you have any chronic medical condition? I told you I didn't create the, the lesson. Yes, I do. I have que tengo ahí diabetes, no? Hypertension. <laughs> All right. I know it's difficult, it's difficult, but we have to do it. Okay? También esa conversation la tienen en el en su manual. Así que igual. ¿Hay alguna duda sobre esa conversation o todo está claro? Difficult words, difficult expressions. Sure. Yes. Uh, a question. Tell me. How do you say um, en el cuello? <laughs> <laughs> Contacts. Contacts <laughs> are important in life, okay? Okay. <laughs> Everywhere. Okay. Sí. Desgraciadamente, pero es true. Pero no debería ser. Unfortunately, yo creo que es un factor cultural. It happens. Mm -hmm. Algo más? Anything else? Estaba fácil la conversación, sí o no? Ya la habían visto? Did you take a look? Yes. No right. Las fechas. Las fechas. Los el, años. El, la, todo lo, todo la, el número o se dice en dos partes. Tiene las dos opciones, sobre todo si pasa después del 2000. Pero generalmente antes del 2000 sí se decían de dos en dos cifras. 1985, 1997, ¿yes? Era mucho más fácil. Después del 2000, pues no importa mucho. Si ¿Sí la puedo decir toda, completa, 2007. Or 2007, or 2019, or 2019. Cualquiera de las dos formas está aceptable. Después del 2000, antes del 2000, preferiblemente de dos en dos cifras. Gracias. Uh -huh. ¿Algo más? Oh, we can say with all number, 1,985. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, generalmente para los años sí no se escucha así, sino que de un solo. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, two, two, right? All right. ¿Qué pudieron percibir además en esta conversación? ¿En qué tiempo está descrita la conversación? ¿En qué tiempo? Past. Past, exactly. Si se fijan en el auxiliar, generalmente es did. Cuando nació, obviamente usted tuvo que haber nacido en el pasado, sino you come from another, <laughs> from another era, from another century, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, today is a historical day for the crown. The queen died. And the, enanitos, and the Enanitos Verde singers too. Really? Yep. I didn't know that. Where were the Enanitos Verdes from? From Mexico or Argentina? In Argentina. Oh. oh really? Oh. I didn't know that. Oh my God. You see, it's a historical day. So yep. when, when was the queen born? 19... 20 something, 26. 30 something. <laughs> no, you know, it is exact a <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Very long time ago. But that, that queen had exact numbers because she was the queen for 70 years. She was born in 1926 and she got married when she was 26. I mean, she became the queen when she was 26 and she died at the age of 96. That woman was a mystery in history, I guess. Yeah, yes. For sure. A lot of numerical part mm -hmm. of the history. A lot. Seven years, seven years before the World War II. Exactly. She became a queen. She became and the seven queen. years now, I don't know 
a few success uh, join with the number seven. Ah, a lot of a lot of successes, right? Yeah. Okay, a lot of events. Yeah, actually, it's a mystery. I think it's a, it's a huge mystery in many things that happen because of her reign, because of her kingdom too. A lot of crimes too. <laughs> and now they say that she died in peace. <laughs> yeah, when, when, in the moment, the, the the exactly moment when she died, the killer to Diana was uh, yeah, don't say nothing. Yes, a lot of things, a lot of things that have happened. Yes, definitely. Well, are we ready to practice the conversation? Let's go. Let's. I'm going to change you in a new group so that you can practice with more partners. And here we go. You are Alan and I'm Blanca. Blanca. Uh, are me. And you what are. Your... Okay. Uh, what is your social security number? It's 34563244. What is your social security number? Hola. My social security number. It is thirty four, fifty six, thirty two, forty five, and young number cuarto, seventy eight. Sixty-five or when were you were to work born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I work in Molsa. What did you do there? Lo contrario. <laughs> you don't have any hypertension. Don't worry. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Now you are Alan. No, 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 never. Okay. <laughs> you are Alan and I'm Blanca. Okay. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. When did you born? I worked in Mo. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Tell me. Eh, eh, una consulta. Después la tenemos que modificar acá en la conversación. Con exactly. With the real information. Ok, perfecto. Eh, era pregunta. All right. Eh, y era otra de la pronunciación y no me acuerdo ahorita cuál era. Ok. <ríe> Cuando la recuerde, dígame. I'll be here. Va, ok. Bye. Gracias. Ok, comienzo yo entonces con Alan y sería usted siempre Blanca. blanca. Ok, o oh, hagamos una cosa, Irma. Sea uh -huh. usted Alan y yo voy a ser Blanca. Ok. No, 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 no.
What is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five. Uh, how do you say guion, teacher? Dash. Dash. Mm -hmm. Dash seven, eight, six, five, four. When, when, when were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I work in Molsa. What did you do here down there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? ¿Cómo se dice diploma? ¿Cómo se pronuncia diploma? The same, diploma. Diploma. Uh -huh. Suena cigarro, diploma. <laughs> yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have a... Seguridad. Teacher, aprovechando que se conecta... Um... Tell me. Cuando mencionamos un número y tenemos el guión, ¿cómo se dice? Si usted quiere mencionar el guión, está bien. Dash. Si no, dash. No, solo sigue con los números. Ajá. Dash. Generalmente, okay. como estas aplicaciones ya tienen como incluido ese carácter, porque eso solo se sigue en el siguiente espacio. Ah. Uh -huh. Y en este caso también que, que ella menciona que el primero de julio, este 1ST es como first, primero. First. Sí, es que en las fechas sí. se mantienen así los números ordinales. Por ejemplo, si usted nació el 2 de septiembre, tendría que decir September 2nd. Ah, <risa> eso no sabíamos. Bueno, yo no sabía. Sí, igual después ah, lo tienen que, que cambiar por la información real y tienen que ir diciendo así la fecha en que nacieron. Ok. O sea que, por ejemplo, 4 de marzo sería March 4th. Sí, cambian los primeros tres números que son 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Y luego todos son con TH. 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Ok. Ah, ok. Thanks. All right. Bye. Vamos, Wendy. What is your social security number? It's four eight one two three. I do. I have per fifth per ten. Station. Okay. Anna. Okay. What is your social security number? It's three four five six. Three two four five seven eight six five four. When did you work? I was born on July first. First. Where do you work? I work in, in Molsa. What do you do there? I was the evening manager. When do you work there? From 2005-2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a, a BBA. Do you have any cross medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. hypertension. Okay. Uh, what is the social security number? It's three four six five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Malta. What did you do there? I was the earning manager. When did you work there? I for from 2006 to 2011. 
Do you have a university di diploma? Yes, I do. Vale. Pregunto. Sorry, sorry. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, yes, do you I have do. a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any any chronic medical condition? Pero uh, sería, uh, 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 sería tú, tú, mm, quiero ver, 2004, sería eh, 200 por. Ok. Do you have a university, no, do you have a university diploma? Yes, yes I do. Um, ¿Cómo se diría? ¿Cómo se llama? Pero me ha ido. Administración de empresa. ¿Cómo se diría? Uh -huh. eh, ya, yo tengo también duda en eso. La BBA es, es, es ¿qué? Lo mencionó es usted. Pero... un bachelor business uh, degree. Sí, es como una licenciatura en administración de empresa. Ah, yeah. uh -huh. Entonces quedaría lo mismo. Yes, I yeah. do. I have. I have a, a BBA. degree, a BBA, or a, a degree in business administration. Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. Right. Ah, pues, do you have a, do you have any a chronic medical condition? No. Okay. No. Uh -huh. Va. Daniel, hoy okay. te toca vos preguntar. <risa> ¿A, a, ¿A quién le pregunto? A mí. A, a Fermo. Okay. Uh -huh. What is your social security number? It's 0262226-8. When were you born? I was born on December 11. También es de diciembre. Yeah. <laughs> Solo yo. Pero yo. No. <laughs> Where did you work? I work in, in Algiers Impresores. What did you do there? I was the um, Manager uh, with Departamento de Calidad is Quality de Department. Yes, Quality Department. Quality, quality Department. When did you work there? Uh, from three, four, five, six, four, five, seven, eight, six, five. No se pronuncia. Es como, mm. es como que queda nulo. Va, que uh -huh. otra teníamos con otra, otra palabra que no Chronic medical condition. Yes, I do. I have a profession. Profession. Okay. Hypertension. 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 <laughs> eh, que ver quién hacía falta que preguntara. Usted le pregunta a Wendy. O... Ya le pregunté, ¿verdad, Wendy? Ya. Ah, sí, cierto. Sí. Uy, ya vamos. Hey, hey. All right. Let's see. Let's interview someone. What's your social security number? The real one. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> My real. Ay, ay, ay. 
<laughs> no, I'm just me, kidding. Let, let, me see, let me see my wallet because I don't remember. <laughs> but that. now you can use the same as the Rui. Ah, okay. Uh huh. And everybody's going to know you're doing no, don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> you can just invent a number. Okay. Uh huh. Say a number, okay. a random. It's a. Uh... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> uh, seven, eight, uh, six, five, four. All right. Uh huh. Well, in this case, this lady says it's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, <laughs> five, seven, eight, six, five, four. Similar one, right? Okay. When were you born? Um, I was born on May seventeenth. All right. We're not saying years either. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 19? 79. 79. Yep. Oh, very close. And you? My brother was born that year. Really? Uh huh. It's just a year older than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, this person says I was born on July 1st. Of course, it's just the same information from the conversation, right? Where did you work? Um, I work in Antigua. Mm, interesting. All right. What did you do there? I was the cross and up selling chief. All right. When did you work there? From August 20, 2012 mm -hmm. to September 2019. Oh, wow. 18. That was for 18? Yeah. 12 to 18? Yeah. Those were four years? Yeah. All right. So, do you have a university diploma? Yes, I have a bachelor, bachelor, a bachelor yeah. degree, degree of in, marketing. Oh, marketing. In marketing. All right. Okay. Do you have any chronic medical condition? <laughs> I don't know, and I hope no. <laughs> and I don't want to know either. I don't want to know. Yeah. I don't want to go to the doctor and get any medical checkup. <laughs> All right. Yeah, hopefully only, no. no, I hope no, but. Yeah. So you haven't no. gotten any any symptoms or any inconveniences, so it's okay. okay. Don't go. <laughs> Please. Please don't go. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, to just do what you've got to do. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Who is staying tonight for the 10 minute session? Let me see. Oh, well, we have to take the last attendance. Let's see, Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Christina. Present. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present, teacher. All right, for men. Present teacher. Okay, so. <clears throat> Not anymore. Hector. Present teacher. Ileana. Present teacher. Irma. Present teacher. Irvin. Isabel. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Martha. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Samuel. Present. Wendy. I am here. Jacqueline. Present. Hi. So yesterday we stayed with Christina. So today is Daniel's turn. Daniel? Where's Hi. Daniel? Hi. <laughs> okay, so it's your turn for the session one on one for 10 minutes. Is that okay? Okay. All right. So, is there any other question regarding the class? No more questions? No, no question. Are you sure? I'm sure. Thank Continue. you. Continue. So 
continue working on the platform, continue working on the next task and report the inconveniences, please, on the group. Okay, if you have any inconveniences, any problem with the exercises, you can get the screenshot and send it. Yes, Jacqueline. Thank you. Thank you. I try. Una, una pregunta. A mí no me aparece para hacer las tareas. Mm, activó la, en, en el correo que le enviaron todas las, las sí. credenciales. Ok, entonces igual también repórtelo en el, en el grupo. Mm, ok. Mm -hmm. Yo intenté hacer también la tarea 2 que dijo Carlos y solo la primera la pone buena. De ahí todas las demás están malas. Ok. Bye, A mí bye. me puso la, la primera y la segunda, pero las demás ya revisé y no, no me sale. Bye, justo cuando les aparece así, entonces tomen el screenshot y lo reportan en el grupo para que la, la persona que está a cargo de, de la plataforma le, le, les pueda solventar. Lo okay. hace mañana a primera hora, sí, entonces él tiene todo el, el día para para ayudarles, o si quieren desde ahorita, si lo, si lo están haciendo, lo pueden enviar. Pero yo les voy a recordar mañana. Ahorita no creo que esté por ahí. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Okay, Daniel, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Do you have any question, any comment, or something that you need help with? <laughs> um, uh, maybe uh, now, not seeing the, the question. No questions. All, all good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> All right. So we're going to practice English only. Yes. All right. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Uh, sorry? Tell me about yourself. So. Information about you. Oh. Yes. That's tell me about my yourself. Yes. Uh, my name is Daniel. Freddy Sarabia Campos. Mm -hmm. I 44 years. Mm -hmm. I working in Nippon Hoi Lack. What is that? What type of company is that? Um is the uh, the supervision um Uh, design, design and supervision. All right. Design and supervision of what? Um, and the, uh, the group, the, the civil engineer. Oh, civil engineering. Yes. All right. A, a building, a uh, bridge, um, Street roads, street. roads. Uh -huh. and bridges. So it's practically this um, constructions or buildings for the for the city for the communities. Um, in general, oh, in general. Uh -huh. All right, interesting. I didn't know that. So yes. where is your job exactly? Uh, my job is, is engineer safety. Mm, the safety. So uh -huh. you supervise that any construction site has the safety conditions. Yes. Mm, yes. Interesting. So uh -huh. do you have a specific place to stay, like an office, or you are always around the city or the country? Um, a specific uh, the bypass in San Miguel only. Oh, really? So you are in San Miguel, it's true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, so right now that is the working site. Yes. Mm, so you are assigned different projects. Uh, yes, uh, 
Uh, when you when you finish the bypass in San Miguel, you don't know what is the next project to supervise. Um, now, uh, uh, ¿cómo le diría? Uh, faltan dos años, digamos. De, two de, years de, to year. finish the bypass. The bypass. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's a long period of time. Yes. Oh my God. I thought it was faster. No. How many years are you going to be building the bypass? Two years, three years in total? Uh, uh, the five years. Five years. Yes. So the bypass started a long time ago. Uh, yes, the 2018. Uh, no. 19. Uh, 17. 17. 17. Sorry. Really? Yes. <gasps> I didn't know. Yes. Wow. So you from have. From the design. Mm, from the design. Ah. But just the construction? The construction is uh, 20, uh, 18. 2018. So mm -hmm. one year before you started with the design. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have been all this time in San Miguel. Sorry? All these years you have been in San Miguel. Yes, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and your family? Um, um, I went to the San Salvador, mm -hmm. uh, three died, three days, uh, three days, sorry, uh, cada once días, <laughs> digamos, every two weeks, every two weeks, uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. But it's still all these years you have been traveling from San Miguel to San Salvador, from San Salvador to San Miguel. Yes. Really? Do you yes. have children, your family? Uh, I don't children. Oh, you don't I, have children. Uh, that's I a relief. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> because when you have children, it's more difficult. Yes. Uh -huh. very, very. Because children will say, my dad, where's my dad? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and they need a lot of attention. Uh -huh. Yes. So very. you visit your parents? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my father, my mother. All right. That's great. So at least they can see you every week, oh, every two weeks. Every two weeks. Uh -huh. Nice. Great. Wow, you are constructing El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> you are contributing to El Salvador development. Actually, I love, I love the street, like the Claudia Lars. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes. It's yes. really nice. I love this other road or highway that goes to Zacatecoluca, I guess, or to the beach, to La uh -huh. Costa. That's another one that is really beautiful. I don't know the name of that of the highway, but it's really nice too. It's really cool. Okay. See, mm -hmm. see. Yes. Uh, it's this project the for Millennium. Mm -hmm. Um and now the surf city. Yes. <laughs> La Litoral, right? See. Si. They yes. say they are going to extend La Litoral. I went to a place called I guess it's La Perla, but it's far, 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 far away from Surf City. It's going to, I guess, after, after El Tunco. I don't know. It was going to Sonsonate probably. Oh. Yeah, I, but we didn't get to Sonsonate. So it was after La Perla. I have a friend who has a restaurant near. So you can see the, the, the ocean and everything. It's so cute. Ah, mm -hmm. yes. it's on a littoral road. It's really nice. Yes. Oh wow, interesting. I have very, very 
interesting conversations with this class. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you you are a partner with these classmates for a long time. Partner. Mm -hmm. in, in, in this the class. Group? Mm -hmm. This group, the, the English. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who, who is your partner from a long uh, time? Carlos. Uh, Elsie. Mm -hmm. uh, Hector. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Hector has a very good job, too. A very yes. interesting job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So he's another another person that is contributing to the safety of this country. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Yeah. At least to the safety of the environment. It's doing a great job too. Okay. Wow. Okay. How's the weather in San Miguel now? Is it hot? It's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't it's rain. <laughs> it's not raining. Um, a little. <laughs> Just a little. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay, in San Salvador, rain a lot today. Yes. A lot. In my yes. job, I was in Soyapango, and it rain, the rain started like at one, and it mm. finished like two. No, two oh, or three. Oh. But it rained so much. Not only a slight rain, no, it was horrible. Uh, 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 here, uh, here, no, no rain. It doesn't rain. No, it you are doesn't in the rain. desert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you need air conditioner. Yes, yes. It's necessary. It's like yeah. Qatar. <laughs> it's like Dubai. <laughs> yes. Okay, interesting. Well, thank you so very much, Daniel, for your conversation. Okay. All right. Have a good night. And Good continue night. constructing El Salvador's road. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Goodbye. Thank you. See you. See you. Bye.